GX here on Pastiche of Skin. This is the big boy. Obviously, it's been through the war, as you can see. There's a bit of tatters and tears, and I don't know what's happened to the contents of this little bad boy. But let's get inside and find out what has traveled all the way to here. Oh, right. That's interesting. It's not very common that we actually see something torn, drawn onto the inside. This one's actually Marvel themed with Deadpool. Okay. Let's see. We can get ourselves into this box. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to just let you reach in, pull someone out, and take it out to the wide. And hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's nice to see you guys again. Thank you very much for coming back to Past Teachers again to check out more stuff here on Loot Crate. And the first thing we have is... Oh! Suicide Squad stuff. So for the theme of Antihero this month, we have a metal Deadshot figure from Suicide Squad. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've never seen something quite like that. Um, I have like seen like bits and pieces for objects that are being out for marketing of individual series and movies and stuff. I hadn't seen one of these. And do you know what this really reminds me of? It's like even design-wise, shape-wise, exactly like the Iron Man figure that I got previously, which although it was cool and it's die cast and it's metal and it's solid and strong, didn't have any posability, which was a bit of a problem. This one seems to have even less in terms of posability. So yeah. Uh, the Joker, Joker Boss, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Killer Croc. What? Oh, right, I was looking out there, because essentially all the options on the back of it are just a number of colorations and slight design changes. Um, fair enough. So which version of Deadshot did I get? I got number M21. Yep, red and black. Alright, I wouldn't want to collect them all. I, I mean, I don't... The, the designs in these aren't really kind of as, like, graphically interesting to me as, say, any of the other ones we've really had over the time. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, I'm going to pop this guy out of it and see what his material quality is like, you know. It's one of those things where you kind of have to... I can't judge him completely on visuals alone. I actually have to find out the feel of this thing. God, that's annoying. Hang on a second. Haha. <laughs> Why do you always carry keys attached to you? Boom. Boom. Yep, there is. Ah. Yeah, that's my key. Bam. And. Bam. And we're in. So, yeah. Can I just lift you out? Oh, I can't even. Can I just lift him out? So, yeah, you can get a, probably a closer look. Quality rather than actually having the plastic in the way. I'm not too sure about this as a figure. I mean, it's a really cool size, but it's like a weird super SD shape that they've kind of gone with the super big buff torso, tiny little legs. And the tiny little legs are always a problem for balancing for uh, for standing. I don't think this is actually meant to come out of its box in any way, shape, or form. This will be, I'll take a proper closer look at this and you'll probably see it in the shelf in the future, but um, unless I find something else that was actually more interesting. Deadshot as a character doesn't interest me. Floyd Lawton as a character does. Um, I really, really liked Assault in Arkham. Uh, Suicide Squad was not a good film. It is really, really not a good film. It, it's it, it's a bunch of music videos that have actually been cut together with a really long subplot that goes between them. It's um, it was a it was a massive disappointment to me. So let's grab another thing out from the box and take it out to the wide again. So what's this? Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. Oh, is these what I think they are? <laughs> um, right? So Deadpool themed? Deadpool themed glasses case? What is inside here? Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. So I saw the side of the case, it said Deadpool Aviators. <laughs> yeah. Pair of Deadpool Aviators. What do you think? Yeah? I know the summer's over. But come on, guys. It looks good. And here's Deadpool. As soon as you put them on, the faces change, the voice goes along with. It's just the fact that you have to accept that I'm going to kill every last one. Yeah, this is Deadpool. And I like it. Um, of course, there's actually a little design mark. Uh, oh, no. oh, I was worried there for a second. I thought this might be the sticky on. But there actually is a little Deadpool logo on the sides of the glasses. Which uh, is kind of nice. And of course, the colouring and theming. So, Pano Eyewear is the branding on these. But um, yeah, I, I like that. I'll take I'll take a case. I'll take a glasses case with Deadpool on it immediately as just a first gift. Uh, to have the glasses inside of it, or just a bonus, 
Although, like I said, only thing it can be used on for is the watery Irish sun of this time of year. That's <laughs> there's not no, really any other reason to have a pair of sunglasses in October. So yeah, I love the fact that they ordered it, but I'm sure it was actually probably meant to be here a lot sooner. So let's grab something else and we'll take it out to the white again. And I'm gonna look and it is, oh, I actually like that, but I don't like who it's from. So yeah, Jack Mask from Borderlands 2, a good, like a anti-hero because of the pre-sequels. He was an evil an antagonist than anything else. But yeah, Handsome Jack. But, made by Chronicle, the guys gave me that really awful Blade Runner, the Blade Runner car from um, a previous crate, and I wasn't happy with Chronicle previously. Have they redeemed themselves with this one? Oh, I'm, I'm concerned. There's batteries? This lights up? Okay. This is interesting. So there's three tiny cell batteries. Um, how, does I, how do I look? You think I look good? Somebody go and give me my butt stallion. So there is a light up stand that comes with this. Um, I need to see how this goes in. Are you kidding me? Right, to get at the battery compartment, I need to um, screw off the front of it. So I'm not going to be able to do it live in the video here, but essentially I think the whole point is that it goes onto a stand like this, and then there's a nice underlight, kind of like displaying onto the face. That's kind of cool. I uh, I'm on board with that. Let's see, can I get the pole at least into his face? Yes, there we go. That's where it goes, and then that kind of stands a little bit awkwardly sideways, and then that's the way it stands up. Yeah. It's kind of weird to have somebody's face just sitting on a shelf, but I like that. Uh, the molding is all right, although the back ass of it is like I mean, I would have appreciated a little bit of detail even on the all sides because all that's really on the front is some draw lines. There's no texture to it, and the paint job is all right, I suppose. It feels cheap compared to compared to some other figure sets. These. Uh, Chronicle figure figures and stuff feel cheap to me. I mean, literally looking down at this platform as well, it looks like it's actually meant to be a little bit iridescent or a different color to it, but it just looks like somebody smudged a bit of uh, green paint on the bottom of it. So I'm not on board with these Chronicle. They need to stop getting Chronicle figures. Um, that's that's my my one bugbear with uh, create at the moment is that they are continuing to go to suppliers that have proven to be not they have been proven to be not worthwhile in the past and they've gone back to them again i'm assuming because they were like getting a continuing the same deal that they had previously because they're getting uh things for a certain price this is a little bit better than the last one but not by much and by by any stretch of imagination you know what the more i look at it this is the same feeling i'm going to have as i had with the last one, chronicle one the more I look at it, the more I dislike it. Yeah. Mm. Not, a, not a fan. Probably, sorry, Handsome Jack. I love you. Just don't love this. Okay, what else we got in here? Woo! Cool, guys. Actually, I'm, I I needed a new one. I was literally just chatting to my girlfriend about it. And I said that I needed a new belt. So, a Suicide Squad themed belt. It's a, a fabric belt with uh, the logos and designs of people's faces. All the way along the sides of it. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm probably gonna be wearing that in the next video. You see, I needed one of these. I'm happy with one of these. That's a decent wearable. Um, should I take it out and unfurl it a little bit for you guys to see? Because, like I said, I'm definitely gonna wear it, so I'm not too concerned about unpackaging it. But yeah, you can get a wee look, a wee bit of an idea of what it looks like. That is cool. Yeah. I mean, this isn't expensive by any stretch of imagination, but I like the design to it. I do like the buckle. The buckle looks really nice. So yeah, I'm on board with that. <sighs> yeah, is that actually glued? No, it's not glued. Word there for a second. It's just the latching on the bottom of it. 
So buckle down, instructions for sizing, lift tab, cut to size, close tab. Yeah, I am not going to have to remove anything from the length of this. In fact, if anything, I may need to try and clean back a quarter inch off the, the front of that. So yeah, nice, a new belt for my jeans. That's cool. So, uh, what do we got next? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, man. Volume one of Gone uh, Gone to Texas from Preacher. Shit, yeah. A nice fucking hardback too. Oh, that's fucking cool, man. Oh, I am so on board with that. That's an amazing first. Shit. Yeah, with Preacher just finishing its first season. I love. I love. Oh, is this actually? Yeah, it says the Luke Critics season, so I'm assuming it's a Gatefold. Is a yeah. As some way this gatefold is actually like the gatefold cover a printing of it, this particular run of it is the um the limited edition part of it. But yeah, I am so gonna sit down and play read through this. Oh man, I, I love the preacher comics. I had the entire run for years, and I think I sold them off the first time they announced that um that they were going to make a TV series. So I just went and sold the comics I had at the time, going like, you know what, fuck it, I'll probably get them up again. And wow. I love this goddamn comic. So how far do we go? Do I've got a feel. Wow, this does not do just gone to Texas. This actually goes further than that. Got a feeling it does. Yeah. Wow, this does volume one and volume two. And it goes as far as until the end of the world, because the original gone to Texas trade paperback uh, stops when they literally leave the diner after fucking with uh, Sheriff Root. Let's see, does that actually show that in this one as well? What, no, is this actually a random collection? Wow, this is weird. I'm looking through this here. Uh, yeah, that's the first time. Uh, Run off, him feeding, explain the whole sh demons. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm wandering this with myself for a conversation. It feels like this should be, yeah, Badam, standing tall. That's actually, like, that's the last issue it should have rendered with. And then go to the diner. Man, that's fucking cool. Um, I, I can't, I can't even express the words. Preacher as a series, I highly recommend you go and check out the TV series. It's really, really good. It's um, super entertaining. I know I'm going to get a lot. I'm literally going to end this video. And instead of editing these together, I'm going to sit down and read this from cover to cover. It is an amazing, amazing drop in one of these boxes. It was very smart of them. I didn't know what the Preacher object was going to be. This was a smart move. Um, I honestly thought, <laughs> what? I was hoping for one thing. I was hoping they were going to be... Well, they can't because it actually would be a fuel choice thing, so they, they couldn't get away with actually putting a fuck communism lighter in the goddamn boxes, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. So let's see what else is sitting in here. We'll grab all the small extra bits. We have a anti-hero pin, of course, or not pin, uh, oh, is this a neck chain? Sweet, it's a dog tag. Awesome. So we have a dog tag with um, anti-hero, a series of bullets going through a skull, of course, related to Suicide Squad designs, and... Deadpool, we have a, yeah, a Merc of the Mouth print, which actually looks pretty nice. Uh, of course, I'm not a big fan of these prints with boards, lithographs, whatever they want to call them. All they are is like a fan in this hot office, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, not too concerned with that. It, it, that's probably the, I'm glad they actually had another Deadpool item in there. So of course we got our Little leaflet from Luke Crit DX, where it tells us to like, share, and all that crack. Borderlands 2, Handsome Jack, Mask with Light Up Stand, Preacher Brook 1, Graphic Novel, fuck yeah. Suicide Squad, Adjustable Belt, fuck yeah. Di Metal Diecast, Suicide Squad, Deadshot, nah. Deadpool Art Print, nah. Deadpool Sunglasses with Hard Kit, yeah. So, three out of six. Three out of six, well, four out of six, because I actually like the pin this month as well. Four out of six for the Luke Crit DX. Well, um... Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased with the items I enjoyed. I'm not as pissed, not too pissed off with the things that I didn't enjoy. 
So this actually does get probably about a four out of six ranking, I suppose, math-wise. I, I enjoyed that, but I'm, I'm thinking coming to the end of the excitement that I can muster for loot crates whenever they arrive in. The objects in them, I'm not excited about, but sometimes they can just catch me by a wonderful surprise and send me back into a nostalgia spiral. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, discuss, talk about Preacher. I fucking... It, Come into the comments thread and let's let's discuss preacher. Let me give show you the Bible. Let us talk of the Bible of the preacher in the comments underneath. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I oh man, so good, so good. Um, like, comment, subscribe. There's a dislike button right next to it if you're a bit of a dick. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel for any more loot crates in the future. And of course, our regular videos on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I will hope to see you guys all. In the next video. And I'm not even going to record this. I'm just going to straight back into that. Bye bye It was the time of the preacher.